Okay, uh, hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for coming and I'm very glad to share uh, some my thoughts uh, with you about the future, the future of digital banking and um, of banking in common. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Bogdan and I'm a digital banking product manager. Uh, I work in uh, company system technologies. Uh, and uh, our company uh, for more than 20 years is developing software for banks, uh, beginning from uh, core banking system and uh, till uh, digital channels. And um, today I'm uh, going to speak with you, I'm going to tell you uh, some uh, features that we have uh, implemented in our brand new product called uh, Unibank. But uh, first of all, uh, I want to share some information about current situation in the uh, banking sphere. Uh, when we are speaking about uh, digital channels, about uh, remote uh, digital uh, channels, uh, usually we see uh, the next situation, that uh, private individuals have uh, almost all opportunities to work in online sphere, uh, and legal entities um, have some requirements that are covered uh, in remote uh, mode, but unfortunately not all of them. For example, uh, BFM, as uh, Alena said uh, two minutes ago. But uh, usually we forget about another part of our users, because our user, uh, user of uh, banking software is not only our customer, not only those people who are sitting uh, from the other side of monitor. Uh, our users are our um, employee, uh, our staff too. For example, banking management and uh, security guys, they want to control everything that is happening right now uh, in online mode in uh, remote channels and uh, to make some predictions uh, what they have to do uh, in uh, the next minute or maybe in the next year. So. And that's why we uh, have implemented a new product called uh, Unibank. Uh, as you see, uh, it covers uh, every requirement that our client, our customer has, and uh, our banking staff has. And um, it brings a really a digital mode for every uh, bank that uh, um, bought this uh, product from by us. So, uh, if we are speaking about um, digital banking, uh, we have to know some answers. Uh, we have to answer some questions that we can see at uh, my next slide. And if you have uh, positive answers for all of these uh, questions, uh, everything is perfect and your bank is uh, through digital. First of all, when offices are closed, uh, how we can connect with our clients, how we can connect with our employees, uh, with our colleagues? It's a really a very interesting uh, question. And uh, when uh, lockdown is uh, introduced, uh, we have some troubles with communications, uh, really. I can see it's uh, not only in the banking sphere, but even uh, in software programming uh, sphere too. Uh, okay, as a uh, solution of that problem, we can use a work from anywhere concept. Uh, and. Um, uh, we have some risk with it too, because we have to uh, monitor the performance of uh, our uh, people, we have to monitor uh, our processes and so on and so forth. And um, uh, when we are speaking about uh, work from anywhere, we have to concentrate not on uh, VPNs, VDIs and so on. We have to concentrate uh, really on digital workplace uh, for all our employees and it can... Um, and be uh, closed with uh, simply remote digital channels. Yeah, that's it. And uh, another question is uh, how we can attract and retain uh, new clients. Uh, this question is uh, very important for every business. And uh, I must say that uh, the presence of a mobile application doesn't make uh, the bank digital. And uh, what characteristics uh, does real uh, digital banking has? There are uh, three main uh, characteristics. First of all, uh, speed. Uh, everything in digital banking uh, should be made very fast, from decision-making uh, till 
the end of the process when a new product or something like that uh, will be um, used by the end customer in mobile application. Uh, second thing is uh, flexibility. Uh, it's uh, about ability to change. Uh, our colleagues uh, in uh, the sections uh, below uh, said that uh, everything must be uh, in agile mode. And I totally agree with it because everything that we did yesterday, uh, we will have to implement, we will have to refactor tomorrow. And uh, another characteristic is uh, through digital. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means that um, in digital channels, we have to uh, interact with people uh, via digital banking products. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, everything um, should be um, uh, worked uh, in our application. Uh, so, when lockdown is uh, held, uh, nobody wants to visit offices and we have to uh, control everything and to interact only in digital uh, sphere with our clients. And uh, I have to say that our company works on seven regions uh, and uh, we right now uh, are working and implementing some um, really cool uh, software for uh, different banks, uh, beginning uh, with small banks, still uh, large corporate uh, banking uh, associations. And uh, I have to say that digitalization process uh, is global. And uh, when I usually ask uh, my colleagues, product managers, uh, what is the result of uh, this equation, uh, B2B and B2C? Usually I hear answer B2B2C, but uh, not. We uh, now understand that uh, the right um, answer is B4C and maybe BB4C, best banking for customer. Because uh, right now we have uh, client-centric uh, everything. Uh, beginning uh, with banking and uh, till maybe sports. And we have to um, support all our uh, clients, our customers and our employees with the best software we can. And uh, Unibank uh, really can help uh, banks to um, be really a digital bank. Uh, and uh, I'm going to say some uh, words about characteristics of Unibank. Uh, first of all, it's flexible. Uh, as said in, in the theme uh, of my uh, slides, uh, microservices uh, help, uh, helps, really helps uh, in uh, solving this problem because uh, microservices architecture helps to uh, reuse some blocks uh, and uh, to implement uh, really fast uh, new products and uh, to deliver it to our end clients and to provide 24 on 7 uh, mode of working of every product. Then, speed. Of course, uh, we can, uh, with microservices, uh, grow up uh, our solution and uh, to, mm, for example, uh, to make some um, investigations, uh, what product will be suitable for our partners and what uh, wouldn't. And uh, I have to pay one more attention to one uh, really uh, cool fact that the first delivery of uh, Unibank can be carried out in 10 days and uh, contain more than uh, 50 mono modules uh, on board from the very beginning. Another uh, thing is uh, through digitalism. Uh, our uh, product uh, translates banking uh, products to the digital form and help to control, to analyze everything that is uh, happening uh, right now and right here in uh, banking software. And we can uh, analyze and uh, monitor everything, uh, beginning with business and technical uh, characteristics uh, till uh, security. Okay, then uh, our product can work uh, even if uh, it uh, hasn't connected with uh, core banking system. Uh, we can uh, take some um, payment forms, some uh, transfers from uh, our customers and uh, to organize a special queue. When everything will be all right and uh, CBS will be available, we will send uh, all the payments, all the structures 
instructions uh, to it and uh, to uh, proceed uh, this queue. Uh, after that, uh, we will um, show our clients that everything is okay and uh, don't mind. Uh, we control uh, your balances and uh, everything will be great uh, maybe in two or three minutes and uh, don't mind. Then, uh, what about work from anywhere concept? Uh, it's a really great uh, opportunity for us to sell more, to uh, increase our upsells uh, via, for example, chat. When relationship manager is contacting uh, with uh, our client, uh, he can see uh, everything he needs right now and right here about this client. Uh, how many products does uh, he have and uh, how he utilizes, uh, for example, uh, sums of money. Maybe we can uh, make some uh, new upsells for him. Then uh, we have uh, embedded CRM in our product, uh, and uh, this module helps to organize task management uh, in a uh, bank. So uh, a relationship manager can uh, ask some help from tech guys and uh, to speak with a client, and in two, three minutes, get the answer for this question. Next. A uh, thing that I have to um, pay attention uh, is, of course, analytics. Uh, analytics are everywhere in our solution, and it should be uh, everywhere uh, around uh, human. Uh, why? Because it helps to make right decisions. So uh, when managers see a uh, number of meetings, uh, see product utilization and see business KPIs, uh, he can uh, think, uh, um, is everything okay or I'm doing something wrong? Uh, if um, he has uh, too many uh, meetings and uh, product utilization is uh, still at low uh, level, then something is wrong and uh, he or she have to make some changes in uh, work uh, uh, in his work. And uh, to help uh, to solve these uh, problems, we have a Unibank AI module uh, that not only uh, controls and say, okay, uh, you have to make this payment uh, today. He prepares, uh, really prepares payment forms uh, for customer. And customer uh, in the end um, have just click, okay, I want to proceed this uh, payment. So. Uh, in conclusion of work from a work anywhere uh, concept, I should say that Unibank helps uh, our staff, our employees uh, to get better to provide our clients uh, with the best service. And uh, the best service is uh, everywhere. Uh, right now, B4C, as I said uh, before, uh, client-centric uh, mode uh, is everywhere. And, uh, of course, we have must-have features in our uh, product. For example, payments, analytics, uh, limits, uh, uh, goals, uh, which are connected to with financial bin. Uh, we, of course, uh, are working in omni-channel mode. Uh, that means that... Everything uh, that is started in uh, internet banking uh, can be ended in uh, mobile banking. Uh, as Alena said, uh, pro currency exchange model uh, is um, a really cool thing, and we implemented it in our product too. And we have uh, investing interfaces uh, and uh, embedding, embedded banking module. Uh, embedded banking helps uh, banks uh, to build a really a great ecosystems uh, around uh, around uh, bank. Uh, it helps uh, to integrate with uh, different e-commerce uh, shops, for example. Um, three years ago, our company helped uh, one of really great banks to... Uh, uh, improve their product. Uh, we uh, have an integration with one of uh, mobile operators' applications, uh, and to where that application uh, bank gave uh, loans. So uh, on the fifth day uh, of the month, they have to stop credit uh, machine. Why? Because uh, they don't have uh, credit limit enough. Uh, they thought that sales will be not so uh, good as it was. And um, 
Uh, if we are speaking about ecosystems, I have to say that uh, the usual human have ecosystem from the very uh, beginning, from born, uh, and this ecosystem is family. Our AI model helps uh, parents uh, not to worry about um, uh, child's account. Uh, they leave uh, time for parents for real care. And to if, if we are speaking about legal entities, uh, they have another type of ecosystem, uh, what is called a group of companies. Uh, real businessmen want to see analytics uh, and uh, everything that is uh, connected with their business in uh, real time, in online mode. And uh, we do it. Uh, we are helping to uh, improve payment processes with the help of uh, invoicing, invoicing uh, to... Uh, keep a bulletproof security level uh, with signature schemes and uh, all transactions, of course, are proceeded in 24 on uh, 7. And uh, to help uh, us, uh, to help uh, our uh, customers, our partners, uh, banks to build a really great ecosystem, we have uh, an open API module that consists of uh, four sub-modules, open API catalog, third party portal, and uh, of course, uh, open API documentation. With the help of it, uh, almost every partner can uh, integrate uh, his uh, application with uh, open API and uh, everything uh, will work perfectly. Then, uh, technologies. Uh, as I said uh, at the beginning of my uh, speech, uh, we have microservices uh, in core and uh, they are controlled by a Kubernetes uh, cluster. We have a database uh, compatibility with Postgre, with Microsoft SQL, with uh, Oracle, with MongoDB, and so on. So I can say that we have database uh, independence. And we are ready to uh, move to cloud. I think uh, because of uh, these main features, our product is uh, fair, uh, it have, uh, has uh, favorable cost and um, it will be um, uh, not so expensive uh, in the future too, because uh, clouds became cheaper and uh, when everything will be okay uh, with uh, uh, some uh, legal, uh, we can move uh, our products to uh, clouds too. And uh, as you see, we have uh, four tariffs, uh, light, standard, high-end, and exclusive, and uh, every, our product, every, every instance uh, of our product uh, will have uh, three, five, and seven years of uh, free updates. So, uh, microservices uh, helps, really helps, uh, and agile um, uh, methodology helps to implement a really cool uh, business for banks. Uh, and I'm um, almost begging you to use it uh, everywhere. So, uh, I should say that uh, these uh, thoughts were uh, trying to um, implement in banking software for all our customers uh, from Great Britain till China. And um, I will be um, very pleased to uh, hear some um, uh, interesting ideas how can we integrate uh, Unibank uh, to your bank. So, thank you so much.